Good morning, you guys. Just trying to adjust some things here. So, let's see if you can see. I don't know. There's too much light. I don't know if you can see my diffuser or not. But anyway, <clears throat> good morning. Good morning. Day four. Day four of boot camp. Woohoo! Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me today. Um, thank you so much for kind of sticking with me. This is our fourth day of boot camp. This is video number seven. Wow, really cool. Um, <clears throat> so if you are joining us in this live broadcast or if you are watching this um, on recording, I um, want you to, um, um, I want you to uh, just like the broadcast. I'm sorry, there was a message. I was trying to read it <laughs> on my phone. I want you to like the broadcast and comment. I want you to comment today if you are my downline, meaning like you are um, a part of my Young Living group. If you are my cross line, meaning you're part of Young Living, but you know, you're from another group. Hi, Miss Brandy. Good morning. There's my my cross line right there <laughs> and and if you will be my future downline or you're just being nosy and that's fine <laughs> um anyway everybody is welcome in this free boot camp but um i just kind of want to know that so just comment if you're my downline cross line my future downline or if you're just being nosy <laughs> and um if you have any questions throughout the broadcast just just you know put that on the on the comment section and i will try my best to answer it and um also just just a few announcements before we start i want to really really invite you to our young living rally um this saturday gosh a little mini convention for us it's going to be so fun it's from five o'clock to eight o'clock okay it will be recorded videos of Gary Young and the um, and the people in the corporate <clears throat> um, um, in Young Living that's going to give us some amazing information about the farms, about some new products, about you know just like the seed to seal process and and how our oils are just you know have the best quality. And if you can join, um, gosh, it would be an amazing, amazing, amazing um, event for you. Um, hi, Miss Cindy. Good morning, girl. You made it. Good morning. Um, and then another thing, so the, the rally starts from 5 to 8 o'clock, but um, I'm going to be here in the shop from 2, uh, oh, and it's going to be here in the shop, <laughs> sorry, um, 5 to 8, and I yesterday I shared a Facebook um, event page for that rally, so just kind of scroll down and you will see that. Hi, Kim, good morning, here's, here's my morning people right here. And then um, from two to five o'clock before the rally, I'm gonna be here to do some Zyto scans. So I don't know if you're familiar with Zyto scans, but um, this is like asking your body, what is the best oils for you? And so, <clears throat> You're gonna, you're gonna, um, you know, receive a report like this, or it's gonna be emailed to you a report like this, and it's gonna tell you this is Axel's report. It's gonna tell you kind of like out of the 120 like stressors or biomarkers that they scan from different organs in your body, different body systems, your emotion, your energy, you know, all of that. Um, you know, like they measure 120 biomarkers, and then it tells you like. Like this is Axel's. Um, it says that he has 77 that's out of range, okay, out of the 120. Hi, Miss Chloe. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Miss Cece. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. And so it, it, um, it's saying that he has 77 that's out of range. And then it tells you, like, what are the best oils that can take care of that? So. He scanned for his top oil, so they kind of, you know, like rank it. His top oil is Clove Essential Oil, Faith um, Essential Oil, Ula Balance um, Blend, Wintergreen, and Citronella. So, um, you know, this is just a really cool tool to kind of, you know, to kind of show you which oils are the best for you to, you know, to maintain your health and your wellness. Another cool thing that I like about the Zyto scan, you guys, is it would also test you know like your organs so it would give you the ones in the green are kind of you know okay and the yellow are like yeah and then the red ones are like you really have to pay attention to that and this is so interesting i don't know if you know axel's story but you know he has a lot of digestive issues and guess what 
his number one organ that's out of range is stomach. <laughs> so very, 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 very on point. And a lot of um, stomach and, and brain, you know, hypothalamus gland. So very, very um, kind of uh, to the point. It also tells you what the different, um, um, oh, it, it scans your, your spine or your vertebra. So um, any pain or um, um, or any discomfort, you know, can lead you to kind of very specific what level um, you have, um, you know, that you need to just, you know, it kind of shows you how to love your spine and where to focus on um, and applying the oils there. And it also tells you kind of like what are the organs that you also need to focus on based on that. Um, it scans you for, um, you know, like emotions, like I'm big on on this class, emotional trauma clearing, which I'm gonna teach in more on May. I don't teach that all the time. I'm gonna be teaching it on May on a Saturday. So if you are out of town and you wanna come, I would highly recommend you to come to that class. So this shows you kind of like what emotions, you know, emotional traumas you need to help and you, know, you need to let go and the oils can help you with that. Good morning, Miss Julie. How are you guys? Um, and then another thing that I like is it tells you like what are the therapies that are that, that scan great for us. Like asking your body if you can have therapy, you know, a type of therapy today, what would be the best one? And so um, it's it, for Axel, it says chiropractor, chiropractic care. He has to fast again, liver <laughs> to give his liver some rest and lymphatic drainage. And I actually started using the oils um, for lymphatic drainage. And, and we've been doing that and it started him on the clove essential oil, um, ordered some of the other oils, it, waiting for that to come and it's just amazing. And another thing that I like is like it tells you of all the things that they have scanned, what are the top five that you need to focus on? So again, Axel, stomach. I'm telling you, this thing is, I don't know how they do it, <laughs> but it takes about 10 minutes to do the scan. So I will be here. I will be here from 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock to do scans. If you have kids, this, this scan is very kid-friendly. And um, um, even for if your kids, you know, are a little hyper, this, this it would just pause when the kid takes, you know, the... Um, his hand off from the scanner and then it would resume, you know, once they put it back. So, you know, we've, we've scanned kids that are, you know, less than a month and less than, less than a year old and, you know, up to, to adults. So anyway, um, that's from two to five. And, um, if you're interested, let me know. It's free for my members. Um, it's free for the families of my members if they are on essential rewards and um for everybody else it's forty dollars but on saturday we're discounting it to 25 dollars per person for those of you who are not under my group so please 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 that's such a great tool to figure out you know we've been talking about how amazing these oils are and how they work in our body not to really ask your body what are the best oils for your or you know in their term what is coherent you know with your body that's pretty much what it scans for is the coherence of the oils in your body and kind of like what jives with your body so it just points you to the right right direction um, <clears throat> anyway so that's how I came up with I usually love lime or orange essential oil even the citrus oils but I scan for the my top citrus oils are grapefruit and lemon I'm like okay that's what my body really really likes so that's why I started on lemon and grapefruit you know I used to just kind of put whatever citrus oil I have so it is a great great tool you got, got your ning show on i have um five drops of grapefruit and five drops of lemon essential oil in there with an ounce of ning show red and just fill the rest with water so really cool <clears throat> all right so today what we're going to talk about is kind of what i do in an intro class so i do a lot of intro classes if you are a member you can host one you know, and I would go and you, all you do is invite your friends and I can come and, um, you know, do an intro class for you. For those of you who, who are kind of looking into, you know, really sharing this at a, at a serious level or, you know, try, try to see, you know, I just want to share it with my family and friends and, you know, kind of get a little, you know, kind of commission off of it. Um, I'd love to guide you as well. We have in our, in our group, we, we meet 
once a month, every last Tuesday of the month. So that's next week. For those of you who are my new members or for those of you who are my members that have not attended our leadership class, we call it our monthly leadership class, that's going to be on next Tuesday. Mama Lynn cooks some really yummy food. So we have free dinner and we just, you know, like, like dig deeper into learning about essential oils. Okay? So I want to invite you. I want to invite you for that. <clears throat> All right, so, um, um, Kelly's, oh, hi Kelly, good morning, yay, how are you? Um, so this is kind of what I do in an intro class, this is like a shorter version of, of my intro class, but what I do is, you know, I just, you know, pass the oils around, tell people, you know, about that oil, and then, and then how my family uses it, or how, what's well, my favorite way to use it, okay? So, um, when you get started with Young Living, you have the Premium Starter Kit, okay? So if you have your starter kits, go ahead and get it and we can, you know, kind of experience this together. But you'll receive two boxes, okay? You'll have, you know, the diffuser of your choice. So you can get a dew drop diffuser, which is, looks like this. Or you can have the home diffuser, which is the one that's going on right now. I don't know you guys if you can see that real well, but there's a diffuser right there. I can't see it because of the light. Um, and then you'll have, you know, of course your oils, and these are 10 oils total. And a lot of people don't know that when you take this out, there's some more goodies in there. <laughs> so you have your extra stress away oil, so we're gonna look into that later. But, um, so today we're just gonna talk very briefly about, you know, each oil and how I use it and how um, our family uses it. Um, all right, so um, I just wanna review, oh no, this is my old kit. Um, <clears throat> so I just wanna review because, you know, some people say, okay, what are Vitality oils and, you know, are they the same oils? Um, so in the kit, you have, you know, like the, some are Vitality oils and some are regular oils. So this is a Thieves Vitality and this is the Thieves oil, okay? Um, they're the same oils. They're exact the same oils. The reason why Young Living came up with a Vitality line is because FDA wanted them to, to have a different line or have different labels for the oils that they um, claim that can be taken orally. Okay, so um, so that's why they came up with the Vitality line. So if you like go to the Young Living website or if you go through their catalog, um, then if everything, every, all of the oils that are in the Vitality line, they can be taken orally, okay? And, but then if you have a regular oil, those are exact same oils, exact same oils, just different labels, you know, just to guide us that all the Vitality oils you can take orally, okay? There you go. All right, so I'm gonna start with peppermint. Oh, I love peppermint. <laughs> Marlo, good morning. Um, um, let me see, Marlo's gonna have a class, by the way, tomorrow here in the shop. Um, Marlo, is that the spring cleaning? Um, is that the spring cleaning shop? Um, spring cleaning, no, hair. It's all about hair, oils for hair. Um, she's gonna have it here. Marlo, can you comment some information on that for tomorrow? Um, plug, plug your class for tomorrow. She has one for tomorrow and then she has also a class on Friday next week. So please give them that information, comment that here. Thank you. All right, ah, rabbit trail. Okay, so peppermint essential oil. <clears throat> we love, 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 love peppermint. <laughs> um, this is what I use just to kind of educate people on essential oils. So if I have just, if I have just like 30 seconds to tell people about essential oils, I just tell, I just, you know, like show them how to use it. So I'd say, you know, just take a drop. Uh oh, oh we, we've been using this. I'm sorry. I'm just going to do this. You usually wait for it to drop, but I'm out. Um, you know, and I said, just, you know, just kind of like I showed you yesterday, you know, um, circle, circle, circle. And then, you know, just inhale it. I said, that's the first, that's the first um, thing that you can do is inhalation. You can inhale it directly from the bottle or you can cup it over your nose and your mouth and just enjoy the nice scent. So number one, inhalation. Number two is um, topical application. 
So, um, you know, you can just, you know, put it here on your neck. It's a really, you know, great, great way to use it. That's topical application. You can apply it just directly into, you know, your skin or you can dilute it. And the third one is oral um, ingestion. So I said, you know, so right here, there's a few left. Yeah, that's it. Enjoy the good taste. It's a great mouth, um, mouth freshener, by the way. So that's why I'm going to I carry this with me, all, all sorts of stuff. So just three things, in less than 30 seconds, I'm able to share with someone, I call that the peppermint trick. I am I, I'm able to share with someone what an essential oil is, and they experience it. Oh my gosh, if you have used peppermint, you know what I mean. Like, And especially if that's your first time to experience essential oil, it's just so, whoa, that is crazy. Um, so um, uses of peppermint, they are great for mental focus, and for memory and memory retention so you guys if you are working on our project or if you have is it, it's the start test done um, if you have kids on um, that are taking tests while they're studying this is a great way a um, great one to diffuse um, or to just let them inhale it just put you know while they're studying just put this and you know right there and you know just let them inhale it um, and then before they go to school to take the test make sure that either they inhale it or if they're allowed to wear a diffuser necklace put you know a few drops of, of peppermint oil in there that way throughout the day you know they can you know inhale that peppermint it's great for memory retention um, so this is one of our favorite oil to diffuse in the classroom peppermint and lemon and because of just like memory, you know, retention and, and help with, with mental focus. Um, another way that you can use peppermint, it's a great digestive oil, okay, the great digestive support. So I just, you know, take a drop, you know, like we, we travel, we travel a lot or, you know, we just kind of like, you know, like short weekends and uh, we just love to travel. So, you know, when you travel, you eat all sorts of junk <laughs> and then you either get like, gassy or bloaty or whatever so you just take a drop I, I just take a drop and I would put it you know just apply it topically I'm um, kind of on my belly area and my belly or my belly button and I'm telling you that like that's a trick so every time I travel I oh you know like I, I have oils in my purse let's just put it that way um Kim said I did this yesterday with a visitor he was shocked how it was I know peppermint trick it will all it will always always get them um, and then, so that's one, it's a great digestive, you know, support oil. It's also a great respiratory support oil. So, um, we combine this with lemon, lavender, and peppermint. We call it our LLP capsule. Um, put equal drops, you know, for each in, in a vegetable capsule. And we just take that in the morning, especially during springtime, you know, just for respiratory support. And I'm telling you, that is amazing. Um, if you want love on your respiratory system, that's your that's your capsule, LLP capsule. So for Tristan, who is 13, I would do um, like two to three drops of each oil. And then for me and my husband, we would do, you know, if it's really, you know, if we really need it, <laughs> we would do up to five drops of each oil. And I'm telling you, it works. It's, it's amazing. Um, <clears throat> you can also, so, um, it's just a great respiratory oil. It's a great digestive oil. When I, the first time I used peppermint, which is, was four years ago, I just put a drop in a glass of water. You guys doing it that way, putting a, a drop of peppermint essential oil in a glass of water is, is equivalent to the potency of 28 peppermint herbal tea drinks. Ain't that crazy? One drop one drop so a great great digestive oil so um how about cooking with it you can um miss kim myers you know i know i talked about her yesterday but she makes like on our meetings she you know um would bring this peppermint brownies oh my gosh and that is infused with peppermint essential oil it is amazing. So if you are gluten free and you want such a just a great treat, you know, order some um, some peppermint brownies. You know, from Miss Gam. It's awesome. It's awesome. Um, let's see. Um, oh, another way that we use peppermint is 
Hi, Kanichi. Good morning. How are you, girl? So glad that you can join me this morning. Um, another way that I would use, or we would use peppermint is we go like on a long drive, or even just driving around town, and you are, <laughs> and you are, um, you know, kind of like um, sleepy or kind of dozing off. Then you know, put I would just open the bottle and and put this in my. Oh my gosh, I'm going blank. Um, you know, the thing where the air comes out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would just put that in there in the car and then we, you know, like just inhale this and it just, just so uplifting and it wake you up. It's kind of like waking up your brain cells. Um, so we love this. We love this. I don't know about your husband, but like my Jason, he, you know, even though he's about to go to sleep, he will not let me drive. It's like, I got this. I'm going to drive. So I'm like, okay, here, inhale some peppermint oil, kind of wake you up. So that's kind of how we use peppermint. And also, I'm um, speaking of husband. Um, uh, Jason and Tristan, they love to go camping, so they camp almost every month. And so this is just such a great kind of, you know, um, support oil, camping oil that they have in case they have some indigestion, they have it in case they have some, you know, kind of minor aches and discomfort, you know, peppermint in case, you know, they would have some, um, like, you know, they have to to, they're kind of almost dozing up and they have to, you know, um, be awake and just be alert and, you know, then, you know, this is their oil. So a great, 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 great oil. Peppermint. Oh my gosh, is that already 25 minutes? Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe we can just talk LLP today and we'll continue later. <laughs> All right. The next one is love, 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 love. Lavender essential oil. So why is lavender very you know, popular, you know, um, you know, we talked about the, the compounds that are present in essential oils. These are, um, each essential oil has like hundreds of compounds and, and, um, lavender has like more than 300, you know, different compounds that can take care, that can take care of us. And that's why they're super popular. They're like in everywhere, you know, laundry detergent, lotion, creams, whatever, you know, bath salts, just because there's, there's a lot of things that they can do. And that's why people like them and they're very common, they're popular. So lavender essential oil, um, you know, you can take it, um, the vitality one, you can take it orally. The um, and then this one you can apply topically or inhale it. Um, <clears throat> this is a great calming and comforting oil. Okay, so if you're just having a you know oh, day like a day like that, you know just open the bottle and inhale some lavender. Um, at the end of the day, if you're kind of like ready to unwind, you know read a book or whatever, um, this is, you know, just relax is a great, great oil for you. You can put it on a diffuser, you can inhale it, or you can apply it, you know, on your feet. This is also a great oil to promote um, sleep and relaxation. So um, this is a great one to diffuse at bedtime. Or, you know, um, if you have, um, if you need more sleep support, I would advise that you apply it topically. So like a drop at the bottom of your feet, a drop um, you know, um, along your spine, a drop right here, um, behind your neck and then put, put some in the diffuser and whatever's left on my, um, hand, I would put it, you know, <laughs> I would wipe it on like my sheets or my, you know, my pillow. So that way you can just kind of inhale it. It's a great, great support oil. Um, you can also, it's a great oil for skin, you know, support. So if you just want to love in your skin, um, this is a great oil. You can put a drop on your, um, night cream. You can put a drop in your lotion. You can put a drop in your moisturizer. You can actually, um, uh, make a facial serum out of lavender and, um, frankincense essential oil. You know, you can just get, you know, don't ever throw your bottles. So if you have like an empty lavender, an empty frankincense, um, bottle, you just fill it with, um, you know, like this is five mils. I would put, you know, maybe five drops of lavender and five drops of frankincense and then just add the rest with either avocado oil or jojoba oil. And, um, and that's your, your nighttime serum. It's really, really good. Hi, Crystal. Good morning. How are you? And so, um, so that's kind of how, you know, we would use peppermint. I mean, lavender. There's also a great recipe if you're interested for a lavender lemonade. 
I might make that this Saturday for a rally, so, but we'll see. <laughs> um, I'm planning on it, I'm planning on it, so you can try it. Um, another way that, um, oh, I would use this, it's like if you want to make your own gifts, personalize your gifts, this is a great one to add on your bath salts, you know, recipe. They're just super easy to make. So, you know, bath salt recipe, just, just get like, if you're making like a big batch of it, just get um, a big bag of Epsom salt at Sam's and, you know, have your lavender oil and you can combine it with other oils as well. So if you want, um, you know, if you want some recipes for that, you know, holler at me. Let's see, oh, it's right here. Um, two to four drops of your favorite oil. So you can put lavender or, you know, peppermint or frankincense um, or peace and calming or stress away. And um, to a half, half a cup of Epsom salt. Okay, so half a cup of Epsom salt, two to four drops of your favorite essential oil. So, and I would recommend, you know, lavender for that. Really, really good. And... Um, Oh, here's another thing for, for household stuff. You know, um, we always find ways to detoxify our house and to stay away from store-bought, um, you know, household products. So for, um, like, um, you can actually, like, instead of using those dryer sheets, I want you to, if you have time, Google, like, toxins in your dryer sheets, and it would, like, it would scare you like crazy. <laughs> so a great alternative for that is like, there's two ways how we use it. If you have those dryer balls that are good, um, I love the Norwex dryer balls. If you don't have one, get with Christy Stringer. She's a good friend of mine. She's my Norwex lady and get those dryer balls from, from her. She's, it's just really, really good. So, um, you know, you would put those dryer balls, you know, on your dryer when you're doing the laundry. And then the last 10 minutes you have to take out, you have to look for those dryer balls in your, um, in your dryer and then put, you know, two drops of, um, lavender and uh, essential and then put it back. Oh my goodness. That, that would just give your laundry a really good scent. It's all natural and you don't have all of those yucky chemicals, you know, um, that you find in your dryer sheets. If you don't have the dryer balls and you don't want to invest in that, you can cut up like little strips of, um, you know, like those Hain shirt. Don't throw them away. Cut, you know, like several square, like four, six inch squares of those. And then, you know, have four or five or six and then, um, you know, um, put it on like a little jar. Um, kind of like a wide mouth jar and I would put like before doing the laundry I would put um, just a little bit of um, water in it and just a little bit of um, yeah of water and then I would or just a little bit of um, I'm sorry um, Castile soap just a tad and then I, we would put you know like um, a few drops of lavender essential oil in there and then when it's time for you to dry we just use that as our dryer sheet so um, kind of squeeze it not too much but just squeeze it to kind of get most of the liquid out and then just throw them in your um, in your dryer so you know that's another way to do it <clears throat> okay and um, let's see all right so next is lemon I guess we can only discuss three oils today, and then and then at 12:30 I'm gonna continue on until we finish all these oils. Lemon essential oil. Um, you know how I love my citrus oils. <laughs> and um, just let me tell you a little story. You know, Axel just loves like if you would ask him, Axel, what's your favorite oil? He'd always say lemon, lemon. And so when I um, when I got my kit, Axel took this lemon essential oil and like just put it you know bathe in it like he finished that one one bottle <laughs> of lemon in my kit and i was knew that was my first week of using essentials i'm like oh he's gonna die oh my gosh but um anyway he was fine um but i was just so um I was just so curious, you know, like, why would he do that? And the next time I get my kit, like, he did it again. So <laughs> I was like, what is in lemon oil that, you know, that, that, um, that he really, really craved? And, and, and I researched on that, and, and I came some very interesting um, 
some very interesting answers why and that was that it pointed me to the emotional trauma clearing that these oils the specific like every oil has a different frequency and we're going to talk about frequency next week the frequency of essential oils but each oil has a very different frequency and that um you know they are capable of helping us let go of emotional traumas and oh my goodness i'm telling you that was that was pretty profound for me and I have a book called the I have a book by Carolyn Maine that I use for emotional trauma clearing. Again, I'm going to have that class on May 13. That's a Saturday at one o'clock. Oh my gosh, you guys! I encourage you that that is. You think this is mind blowing? Wait till you come to the emotional trauma clearing class. But um, I looked up at the back of that book, there's a list of the oils and what emotional traumas that it can help you let go or deal with. And for, um, for Lemon, it was um, stuck, frustrated, lonely, life being, um, life being unfair, um, f frustrated, you know, like all of those. And as a, as a healthcare professional, I'm like, wow, that's very interesting. But as a mom, that just broke my heart. But I was so thankful that God had um, had shown me a way for my kid, who is kind of not very verbal at that time, to communicate to me what his body needs. And so I'm super, super thankful about that. That's my big lemon story. And that's why if you ask Axel, he'd still always say, lemon, I want lemon. Um, and he will tell you where to put it. <laughs> Most of the time, it's like on his tummy or on his feet. So um, anyway, I thought that's so interesting. I want you to share that that story with Axel with the lemon oil. But um, and, and that's why I believe that, you know, when you ask, you're, hi, Miss Lively, how are you? It's our favorite teacher right there. <laughs> so if you, um, you know, uh, and another reason, you know, that I that we love lemon oil is a great, just a powerful cleanser and detoxifier. Um, we've shown you how, <clears throat> you know, like styrofoam is super toxic. And so if you put... A drop of lemon essential oil it would actually kind of eat it up like pac-man it would um, digest that um, that styrofoam because and that's how it is a powerful cleanser go back to my day two um, videos and it would tell you why how essential oils function and how they become powerful detoxifiers and cleansers so that's lemon oil I encourage you to you know just just like the you know, like we have lavender, peppermint, and lemon today. And I want to encourage you to take the LLP challenge. <laughs> I just came up with that like at this moment, so it wasn't planned. But anyway, <laughs> but take the LLP challenge. You, um, I encourage you to put, if you're kind of mm, with taking the oils orally, you can put a drop of lemon and a drop of peppermint in a glass of water and just take that, you know, give your body like 10 days. Take that before you do anything, before you take in, before you eat breakfast, if you're a breakfast person. You know, put a drop of lemon, a drop of peppermint in a glass of water and just take that every day. You know, start your morning with that for 10 days, for 10 days. And then lavender, you know, put a drop, you know, like, like support your sleep with lavender. So put a drop at the bottom of your feet, along your spine and the back of your neck and diffuse it if you have a diffuser. LLP challenge and please let me know how it works um, for you. Do it for 10 days. You will love it. So I think we're so out of time. I'm so sorry. But um, 12.30 and 12.30 today, I am going to continue on with the oils until we finish. We go through all of these, you know, all of the oils. My um, source for this is this really cool, cool book. It's um, from our fields to your family. Um, Essential Oil Starter Guide. This is the book or the brochure that I use for um, um for my intro classes. Yes, thank you for your hearts. Give me hearts. Thank you for joining me today. Um, again, please comment if you're my downline, if you're my crossline, if you're my future downline, or if you're just being nosy on this <laughs> on this boot camp. Please like, comment, and never too late to invite your friends to this um, event. Please bless your family and your friends with this information. Add them to this event page. I'd love to minister to them. If you are 
my cross line i'm no, not my cross <laughs> sorry cross lines if you are my down lines and you um want more information you know about this this is called um, the essential oil reference chart it kind of goes through the different body systems and what are the essential oils that um you know that it can that, that they recommend to support that body system if you want a copy of that and if you're in my downline please message me and um tell me tell me your your address where i can mail it miss Cece, thank you missy said very informative mom said good job mahal I, I i suspect that's tristan that's that type that but anyway um thank you so much and just um let me tell you um we, we're going to continue on at 12 30 with the starter kit um it is amazing this is the best way to start using essential oils um where you have like 11 oils to just kind of you know play around with and use and enjoy and i'll tell you how to use it so this will be video number eight later and then if we have to use the time tomorrow to continue on in the on the um, oils and how to use it i will do that but i just want you after watching these videos i want you to be very confident in using these oils okay so i will provide a link you know after this broadcast i will provide a link to how to get your starter kit um you know if you are not on it yet you have got to if you are not if you're my member and you're not in essential rewards yet please get into the essential rewards program you can call um young living or you can just go to your virtual office and do essential rewards you do not want to run out of these oils you know to support your family's health and wellness and um you know it's just great stuff you guys it's just great stuff so again um um register for the rally um get with me if you want to do a zyto scan this saturday from two to five you know you have to make an appointment with me and see you at 12 30 bye Mwah.